Advertising on social media can be inexpensive, easy to do, and very effective. It's something that the masterminds of advertising long ago wish they had. I'm surprised I don't see more local businesses advertising on my social media. To demonstrate, I'll talk to you about a brew pub in Henderson called Barley's. I met some friends there for the first NFL game of the 2019 season. They have the following specials during college and pro football. 1. $1 pints of their handcrafted beer. 2. $5 wings and fries. 3. $9.99 for large cheese pizza and a pitcher of their handcrafted beer. Some great specials, right? Those prices are really hard to resist, and we know that they have a casino, so they're making their money elsewhere. Those prices are great enough to get people through the door, and getting those prices to the right people on social media is simple enough. Here's how easy it is. When you create a new ad on Facebook, you can choose the age, gender, and location of your future customers. The location can be all the way from country-sized down to one mile. If Barley's wanted to just target their neighbors, they could drop a pin near them and put the radius down to a mile, so only those within a mile will see their ads. If they wanted to put their ad in front of Anthem residents, they could either drop a pin again or even put a zip code in. Next, there's the language option. If they notice that German is being spoken more in their casino, they could target German speakers in Las Vegas. Up next, there's detail targeting, and this is where you can really work down the audience reach. If Barley's wanted to attract fans of the Chargers and Raiders, they could do exactly that. Just search for Chargers and Raiders in the search bar. They could even add American football in there. Barley's also has a sports book, so they could add in sports betting or even gambling into the detailed targeting. This way, they can target Raiders and Chargers fans who have an interest in sports betting. There is also an exclusion option in case you don't want to have Raiders fans who are also Vikings fans for some reason. Be warned, your ads can't discriminate based on personal attributes such as race, ethnicity, color, national origin, religion, age, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, family status, disability, medical or genetic condition. Make sure to read their discriminatory practices page. Then you can choose where your ads show. Keep in mind your ad type, image or video, when placing where the ads go. Resolutions for video work better in certain ad spaces. The last big thing we'll talk about is scheduling and budget. This is where I think social media advertising shines. Let's say Barley's has a $25 budget for the Chargers and Raiders game. Starting October 14th, they can run an ad for $1 per day. They could also choose to run multiple ads targeting different groups, but they wouldn't be able to run the ads as long. They could choose to spend all $25 within a day or two of the game as well. I don't know if it would be a good idea, but if they had the extra money, they could even target Chargers fans in Los Angeles. Lots of people from LA come to Vegas for sports betting, and this may be a good way to get some new eyes on Barley's. Remember that video has a big advantage over images because Facebook tracks how much of a video someone watches. I demonstrated this on Facebook, but both YouTube and Twitter can also do very similar things. Hopefully you've learned something about advertising on social media in this video. If you have fantastic, if you have some tips, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.